arrived to town yesterday. And here comes Tulsa through center. They're skating left to right in their white jerseys as you follow along. The opposite, if you're watching on ECHL TV, wraparound chance, they score! It's Angeli on his first shift in an Oilers jersey. 28 seconds, he jams it into the open net after Phil Brewer put the first shot on goal in the wraparound. Up the wall, Walters gets to the half wall, feeds it to the point for Haar. Back over to Walters and down low in the corner at Sparks. Sparks trades places, right circle, fires one, blocked in front, rebound! They score. It was tapped in behind Colin Stevens right under the crossbar. It was quick and then hopped back out. He'll feed it across the rink for Anthony Collins, and Collins gets to center and lobs it in cross corner. Grant in his second game with the rush, he scores from the corner, an impossible angle, threw it on goal along the goal line, and somehow snuck it in behind Colin Stevens. A goal Stevens would like back. Through center, it's Angeli walking in two on one with Lalonde set, but it's broken up in front by Mastro da Casa. And he gets to center ice. He's checked into the oh, oh. Tulsa bench, head over heels. To the left wing, Pleskatch. Now brought in by Bates. He fires. That's tipped by Mastro da Casa over the top of the net. The left wing half wall, Pleskatch. Will feed it down to Bates. He'll slide it up to the right point. Jacob Poe rifles a shot save. They score! The game is tied with 18-16 left. And I think that's the first Oilers goal for Jacob Poe. 20, it's Garrett Ladd for slashing, and the faceoff will come to the left of Colin Stevens. The rush get their fourth power play. They're one for three so far. It's a 2-2 game. Tolkien and scores right away. Six seconds in, off of Stevens' glove. They're on a penalty kill, no icing. One last chance for Tulsa. Brown starts up ice with eight seconds. Brown has to launch it. He gets it to center for Bates. Four seconds. Bates drops it off. Cunningham with a last chance. Here's Paquette, and the buzzer oh. sounds, and the game's over. Rapid City will beat the Oilers twice on the road. Knock off the league's best team. And back-to-back -back games, the Oilers fought hard to try to tie it. But the Rush win this one, 3-2, to two, the final score. The Oilers come up just short. And they'll take tomorrow off and rebound and try to beat the Allen Americans on Sunday. Allen comes to town for a 4.05 p.m. afternoon game here at the BOK Center.